Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can do some more troubleshooting and get some more insight about the uh, part. Assuming that uh, you have uh, some parts running underneath under your cluster and you would like to debug some info and pull out some information about the uh, some uh, containers. Assuming that uh, someone reported that uh, one of your particular service is uh, creating some issues and it's uh, slowing down or it's, uh, it's not responding or it's responding late. So uh, first things you, you need to go to uh, and issue the command kubectl get, get pods. This will give you a small idea about what is happening uh, with the, the with the, uh, particular uh, deployment or pod. So in that case, we are taking an example of this particular pod. It's saying that this particular pod is being restarted many times. So what we need to do is we need to identify the root cause of being that uh, of being restarting. So for this particular sake, uh, what we need to do is we need to go to inside the uh, uh, like inside the deployment or inside the pod to see what is happening with this particular container. For kubectl uh, CLI enables you to uh, debug the pods uh, from the CLI. So for this, we have a command called kubectl describe and then pod and the pod name. So this will uh, give you some detailed information about the pods and the pod states and uh, or, and it, it can it can give you a sufficient information about uh, the pods to de uh, debug the information. So initially uh, we can see that uh, there are some uh, we need to see uh, uh, information where it says that it's restarted. So here uh, if I see, uh, I uh, can I can I found the information that related to uh, the restart. Oh, here it is. So uh, we found that information uh, at this particular state. Uh, the current state is running, but we see that last state is terminated, and we could also find a reason called ohm. That means this particular container is claiming more memory or more resources to a uh, node uh, that is supposed to have. Like uh, uh, this particular, uh, if if we talk about the default, so in default cases we have a 256 meg uh, megabytes of memory and some amount of CPU that uh, designated. So uh, the container would not kill the entire node. So this particular uh, statement is showing that. Uh, the container is restarting because the um, uh, memory maxing out. So uh, at first stage, we will find the reason why the container is restarting. So next thing we need to see if there are any kind of Im uh, resource impl uh, limitations implemented. Uh, we can see that we have some limitations already in place. So here we can see that uh, we can we can uh, query one CPU and we can claim 200 uh, 2 GB of memory. Uh, in in uh, in above we can see that uh, maximum uh, threshold is 100 and uh, 1050 megahertz of cpus and we can also claim memory uh, to 250 megabytes but uh, still this particular resources are not sufficient to run this container or environment because the application which is running under the container is uh, utilizing or consuming or claiming more memory or required more memory to run its operation so when the application is consuming more memory than it assigned so a container got restarted with the error code of umkir so that means if you if you want to troubleshoot this issue you wanted to see uh, uh, or you wanted to uh, increase the resource uh, resources over here uh, this resources can be tuned uh, via deployment file also this can be tuned via dashboard we will see it later but right now we are more focused to uh, to, to debug the issue uh, at this stage we we already know that uh, we have we have some resource constraints uh, that actually forcing the container to restart uh, and and this particular field says when this particular container is restarted last time so uh, as there we can see it restarted at sunday 26 July 2020 and the time is 1:45. so from here I can see the last restart time I can see uh, the the reason for being terminated and and we also can see uh, the resources which is uh, applied to the container 
so right now uh, we have uh, some information that uh, in a, that can move forward to us if we need to uh, if we need to uh, troubleshoot right away uh, either uh, we can we can uh, restart the service or or we can increase the resource limitation but all these things will be the happen in in uh, next videos uh, in the series so uh, i hope uh, this will give you a sufficient information but before we signing off for this video i would like to see show you some uh, logs and more details so uh, let's suppose uh, uh, we wanted to uh, uh, we wanted to increase uh, this number of our uh, resources uh, and before we increase this number we we must need to know how many uh, how much resources we are uh, we have in our uh, particular node let's suppose uh, if we see where this particular pod is scheduled so this particular pod is scheduled at this node if i if i hit the command kubectl get nodes so so i would like to see uh, this node name uh, this node so i will grab this from output of kubectl get nodes so i will uh, grab it grab minus i and hit this command so uh, this will give me uh, information about this particular node so here i am seeing uh, we have a node called uh, ip33 blah 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 they are internal so i want to see how much memory this particular node has for this uh, uh, i can issue a command kubectl describe nodes and the node name because this container is uh, residing under that node so we first need to identify if we are in increasing uh, this resources so uh, this particular uh, node should have more resources uh, than we are going to assign so uh, here uh, uh, at the bottom of the output when we issue that this command so at the bottom of uh, uh, at the bottom we can see the nodes uh, uh, nodes uh, resources so we can see 42% uh, of the cpu is being used and maximum it's going to 50% so uh, we have all uh, we have spared 50% of the cpu we also have spared 72% uh, of the memory because 22 8 28% uh, is being assigned uh, but uh, right now we have uh, because we don't have any volume claim onto it so we can we, we are seeing that in parallel storage is to zero because we we haven't our application is serverless and we don't need to assign so uh, th uh, from here we can see that our pod pod is uh, utilizing 12% uh, of cpu and 13% of cpu limits and it's using 6% of the memory and when it, it it's hitting the limit so it is it's also claiming the 6% of the memory which is assigned to it. so right th this is a uh, recent uh, recent information uh, when the when the pod was restarted the, uh, the this information bit changed so uh, by seeing this uh, i'm in assu i'm assuming i can increase the increase resources of particular pod uh, so before uh, whenever you going to whenever you going or planning to increase resources you must need to identify uh, the num uh, the node where the pod is deployed you also need to uh, identify the um, node uh, or must have more resources you are going to assign so uh, uh, these things we need to keep in mind while we are we are upgrading our pods resources so i hope this information will help uh, to identify or uh, manage the manage the pods so in next video we will we will see some more detailed information till then thank you